I had loads of fights. I boxed for England as a kid and did really well as a professional. But I personally think, overall, getting me on gym and training the lads to the standard that they are, I think that's how you've done anything hard as a, as a boxer. I think what we've got here and at the other gym we had before, that for me is better than anything I've done. It was a, just an accident, really. I got uh, uh, I was doing a bit with a couple of lads, uh, rugby league players, Lee Jewett, uh, Ian Sibbett, and that were doing fights uh, for charity for, for the rugby league. And I'd, I'd started helping them out. And then from that, he carried on. I had uh, uh, Damien and then Mark Colley did others. And from that, he just built on. And within no time, I, I had a load of lads just training in, in Cat's gym and places like that. So then it just built up from there. And I didn't realise, I, I didn't think, and I always never wanted to do it. When I was fighting, I'd not got time for it, and I couldn't be bothered. But once I got into it, it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it, and you get more out of it from seeing other people and doing it, I think, now. So, or I do, anyway, I enjoy doing it. We've not been able to do anything like we used to do. We used to have full classes, uh, 30s and 40s, but we had to reduce the numbers and keep the people, the kids who needed it most, really, and the, some of the adults because it's not just physical, it's mental as well. So it's been hard, but the ones we've had to like pluck away and, and pick away at the certain people who needed it most. It, not like I say, not just physical, mentally. Who would get the most out of it and do reduced numbers. Even through the last lockdown, we did little groups of kids and groups of adults. Uh, just for keep people going, just keep them on. It was really hard, but yeah, it just kept ticking over. I was, my brother went boxing when he, I was about 13, 11, sorry, and he watched Rocky and he wanted to go, my dad made me go with him, and I had no choice, I had to go with him because I was his older brother, and I just, I didn't do any sparring, I just trained and enjoyed it, and within a couple of weeks I was hooked on it, and then once I got in there, and they locked me in the change room, first learning me how to skip for two days, and then once I come out and started doing, it just come natural then, and I was all right, I just it was out of fear, I was good, because I didn't want to get it, I was hitting and running. But well, that was it. My brother wanted box, and I I just had to go with him. My dad made me go, so I didn't do it off my own back. So I'm glad I did now. Like, I'm glad I went. Blundell is fighting the contest of his career. He's got him again. What they've been doing before, and keeping them training, getting them at gym, even if they're not fighting, as long as they're training and, and doing a little bit of exercise every day, and keeps them out of trouble, doesn't it? So we do that every day of the week, seven days a week. <laughs>